Hi guys. Okay, so um, I'm gonna do something a little bit different. I don't know how it's gonna work out. I was feeling a little inventive this morning and I'm taking a um, almost a dustpan pour, but still sort of a dustpan pour. Um, I'm gonna hold on to the dustpan, uh, this size one, and I'm gonna put it to the side just in case I need it later. But what I'm gonna do, and I think um, my partner, he's gonna kill me because he got this for me for Christmas. And I wanted like a nice broom and dustpan and <laughs> this is what he got me. So um, I have to be careful and clean it really good after <laughs> so he doesn't know I used it to make a painting. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take um, my regular layered cup and pour it and um, sort of like a Sheely art style and just bring it across the canvas maybe and then stretch it out. I don't know, it could be a complete disaster, but I think it might be fun. I needed one that was big, <laughs> bigger at least <laughs> for the puddle to fit in because my puddles don't usually fit in this. Um, so yeah, while I laugh at myself, <laughs> it might be a huge disaster, but I'll post the video anyways, just so you guys can see the trials of uh, paint pouring. Um, all right, so I'll be back with you guys in a few minutes. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to layer my cup with my colors. This is the house paint, semi-gloss, satin enamel mixed. Um, three parts flow trawl to one part of the paint. And I'm just putting some leftover colors that I had from my previous pores in here. This is Payne's Gray. Um, this color was a metallic blue. This is the 24K Gold. And this is the bright aqua green which I think is too bright, so I'm gonna add a little bit of the satin enamel paint to it, the semi-gloss enamel paint. It's by Bear. Okay. So of course I've never tried this before, so this could be a complete and utter fail. Um, but it just, it looked like fine, fun, so I, I wanted to give it a try. I wanted to paint in the worst way and I didn't know what I wanted to paint, so, um, you know, sometimes you just do things. I think we learn and we experiment with different techniques. Um, and I saw a bloom technique, a really quick snippet video, scrolling through the world of um, Facebook by, by Sheely, where she had everything on this little flat slab and she blew out her bloom and um, then proceeded to take it around and stretch it out across the canvas and I really, really liked it. So I was like, that's really cool. How can I change things up on my end? And we'll, <laughs> we'll see if this works. Oh my God. <laughs> Anyways, I'm sorry. I'm just like cracking up because this is gonna be interesting to say the least. Okay, I don't know if I want to do a ring pour or a straight pour in the pan, but I'll put some white in the bottom too. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to wash it and make sure I don't get any paint on the handle because, you know, then there'd be proof that I used it for pouring and I think he might have a fit. So, um, all right, so I'm going to layer my canvas with uh, the, put a base on the canvas of the white and go from there and I'll be back in a minute.
I'm back. So I think what I'm gonna do is um, a ring pour. <sighs> I'm not, not sure if I'm sane right now. So I'm just gonna put some white in here. some um, little bit of anthroquinone blue at the top and then I put some of the fluorescent magenta I had a little bit left and it looks like there's cells in there but there aren't that I poured the pink from way up high and so it would go into the layers um, and you could just tell the reaction is so pretty they're like rainbowish I don't know if you guys can see it all right, here goes nothing. I feel like I might have too much paint, so maybe I'll just pour off some. Okay. Now I'm right-handed, so I'm gonna have to swap hands when I do this. I don't know if it's even gonna make a difference, but. That's pretty. I think that is pretty cool. All right, so what I'm gonna do next is move this around a bit. Put that somewhere safe so it doesn't spill anywhere. I definitely came out maybe too fast. I don't know, I've never tried this before, so we're gonna find out. Maybe I'll take Oh the road if I do that. Okay, we're just gonna leave it alone. Oh boy. I'm loving all these little cute cells over here. like a butterfly. Okay. Well, you know, there's a first time for everything and I've never done this before, so. Um, I 
I want that corner off because I don't like that corner. Oh my goodness, what fun. Mm. Now I want to do this again. just tidy some things up and we'll bring you in in just a minute okay guys here it is I'm absolutely loving this metallic blue and all the little cells and that little looks like an avocado right there <laughs> or green eggs I don't know um, and then I I'm really digging how this has um, basically two paintings on one and this big area of contrast and the lines and then this beautiful subtle soft cloudy ring pour over here just really sort of balances it it's almost like a yin and yang um, so here's the whole piece Sort of liking how it turned out. I think uh, I could totally experiment some more with um, using that fancy dustpan that I just thoroughly scoured so that there's no paint residue on it. If he ever finds out, he'll kill me. Um, nothing is safe in this house, I'll tell you. I don't know about your houses, but nothing is safe. Um, all right, guys. Well, thanks so much for watching. Just a little fun this morning. I don't want to take life too seriously. I have way too much going on that I have to be serious about. So, just playing with paints. I hope you guys have a great day. Um, all my artwork is for sale. Feel free contacting me via the social media links in the video description. I have a PayPal me link that helps bring um, any donations help bring uh, beautiful art to you from me and uh, what else I don't know follow me on social media see what's going on see some of my past work I want to thank you guys so much have a great day bye for now